When you go on a cruise, there's only so much room in your cabin. Creating a mess and having things all over the place can make an already cramped space even worse. In this video, I'll cover some of the best ways to help with the limited space that is your cabin. The first suggestion is probably the most well known because it works that good. Magnetic hooks for hanging things up. The walls on ships are made of metal and since metal is magnetic, if you have magnetic hooks, you have a fantastic way of holding things up on your cabin walls. As long as the magnetic hooks are strong enough, you can use your hooks to hang up things like your cruise card, lanyard, or your daily planner. Cruise ship cabins are usually small. Unless you're in a suite, having a suitcase or two can make an already cramped space much worse. So what can we do with your suitcase then? There are a few options. Either hide them in the cabin if they are big enough, but if you're someone that puts away and hangs up your clothes, there might not be any room left. The other option is to put them under your bed where you sleep. Most cruise ship beds are high enough that you can store them underneath the bed. Now what to do with your dirty laundry? The first is what I usually do when traveling with my family. Just use a suitcase or a bag that you boarded with. This might not work if you're with someone that you don't want to mix your dirty clothes with, but if that's not a problem, unload at least one suitcase, and once that's empty you can load all your dirty laundry into it. Depending on how long your cruise is, and if the cruise has a self-serve laundry, all you need to do is take the suitcase to the laundry to clean your clothes, but if you don't want to do laundry or there isn't a self-serve laundry available, it now means your clean clothes are already separated from your dirty clothes, making cleaning at home when you return easier as you don't have to figure out what's clean and what's dirty. The other popular option is buying a fold-down laundry hamper and setting it up in a corner somewhere in the room. When it comes to the amount of things we need to plug in, things like phones, tablets, laptops, most cruise ship cabins never have anywhere near enough power plugs. While newer ships are getting better, just like your house, there are only so many plugs that a cabin can fit, and like your house, most people instantly think to take a power board or power strip with them. The thing with this is that unless the power board isn't surge protected, it can create problems. The power on a cruise ship works differently to your house, and a surge protected power board can actually do damage. Why and how this happens is for another video. I'll make another video soon explaining how all this works, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Power boards are one of those things that security will be looking for when your bags are scanned when you board the ship. If they find one, you'll either need to prove that it's not surge protected or it will be confiscated for the duration of the cruise and return to you at the end. If you do need more power points for your room, either get a power board that doesn't have a surge protector on it or see your cabin steward. If they have any available, they will be more than happy to supply one. Are you about to set foot on a cruise for the first time and not sure what this cruise card thing that everyone keeps talking about, or you just need a reminder? Check this video out here to find out. And thanks for watching.